Today we're going to read Working at a Grocery Store. Have you been to a grocery store? I'll bet you have. Maybe you'll see people at the grocery store doing jobs like they do in this book. There are many different jobs at a grocery store. So Katie Marsico wrote this book to teach us about them. It's a true book. That's nonfiction, not fake. It has a table of contents to tell us what page to look on, and it has all these cool photographs to show us jobs people do at a grocery store. What is a grocery store? You are in a store that has lots of food. Your cart is full. You are ready to pay for your groceries. A cashier smiles at you. He asks you to step over to his cash register. He is one of the many grocery store workers who help you to do your grocery shopping. Good cashiers are nice to customers. So that's one job at a grocery store, a cashier. A grocery store is where people go to buy food. They also buy other everyday items here. Do you go shopping with your family? What does your family like to buy? Many people do lots of different jobs in grocery stores. They all work together so you can get what you need. Let's take a look at some grocery store workers. Some workers can tell you about fruits and vegetables you have not tried before. Ooh, that's almost like a teacher at a grocery store, teaching you about new food. Grocery store workers. Have you ever noticed that there are different sections in a grocery store? One section may have baked goods such as breads and cakes. Another might have cheese and milk. Each section has workers to help you. One section of a grocery store has different kinds of meat. Butchers slice meat for you to take home. You can talk to a baker if you want to order a birthday cake. A produce worker might help you decide what kind of apples to buy. Produce is fruits and vegetables. Who else works in a grocery store? Stock clerks place food and other items on shelves. Cashiers tell you how much money everything in your cart costs. They take your money and put it in the cash register. A bagger puts your groceries in bags or boxes while you pay the cashier. Bakers make bread. They also make cakes and other sweet treats. What's your favorite sweet treat at the bakery counter? I like cookies. Who is in charge of all these workers? A different manager usually takes care of each section of the store. Managers train the workers in their section. That means they teach them what to do. They also order supplies. They must make sure that items in their section are fresh and ready to buy. Some grocery stores are very big. Managers help things run smoothly. The store manager runs the entire grocery store. She hires other workers. She tries to come up with new ways to increase sales, to get more people to shop there. The store manager talks to shoppers too. She wants people like you to be happy and come back. You can see that it takes many workers to run a grocery store. Each one tries to make shopping easy and fun for you and your family. Store managers are happy to answer any questions that customers have. Looks like someone's asking a question about the fruits and vegetables. Do you want to work at a grocery store? Would you like to work in a grocery store someday? You can start getting ready now. Talk to workers the next time you go shopping. Find out what they like best about their jobs. Grocery store workers usually wear aprons or uniforms. This helps customers know that they work in the store. You may learn that many grocery store workers enjoy helping people and working with food. Most grocery store workers are also organized. They must remember where lots of different items are. Are you organized? Ask your parents if you can help write the grocery list each week. Make a note if you see that you are running out of a certain food. Check off items on your list the next time you go shopping. 
Grocery lists help you remember what you need to buy. And sometimes, in my family, we even use a picture on our grocery list. If a kid isn't sure how to write the word, they can draw a picture of the food there. A grocery store can be an exciting place to work. Find out as much as you can now. This is the best way to decide if one of the jobs you have just read about is right for you. Many people work in grocery stores. Maybe someday you will work in a grocery store too. And at the end of our nonfiction book, it has a special page that tells us what some words mean. That page is called the glossary. It says that a bagger is a worker who puts groceries in bags or boxes for customers. And that produce means fresh fruits and vegetables. And it tells us some more books where we can learn more about working at a grocery store. I hope you learned something new and interesting about grocery store workers today.